For those of you who are like, what does Stoicism have to do with Star Wars? And what even is Stoicism? I want Stoicism 101 for geeks. Stoicism is a philosophy that can be sorted into four primary pillars. Courage, wisdom, justice, and temperance. When I think of Star Wars, every single one of those virtues immediately come to mind. First of all, the Jedi, the keepers of peace and justice in the galaxy, right? So an immediate sense of right and wrong and a call to take action. Star Wars is about picking up the lightsaber and going and, and facing darkness. So you actually have to have a belief in justice. But how am I to know the good side from the bad? You will know when you are called a peace. There's courage. Star Wars is a story of bravery. Again, getting up, facing your darkness, taking that big leap, lifting things that you don't know that you can lift. Obviously, there's wisdom around every corner in Star Wars. It's about masters and Padawans passing on knowledge that you have learned. Uh, we are all born with things that we have yet to learn and a sense of things that we you know, still need to know. And we're always in search of a master, a mentor to teach us those things. With the blast shield down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. I think I'm ready, Steven. So it's going to be nine hour day. <laughs> I'll make sure to put that in the vlog. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You have two rival kind of holy war factions, the Sith and the Jedi. And there are people who say they are almost similar in every way. Palpatine from episode three says this as a form of manipulation. The Sith and the Jedi are similar in almost every way, including their quest for greater power. Uh, but they aren't the same in every way. And the primary way in which they are different is the idea of temperance, moderation, discipline. Uh, the Jedi are a monkish, abstaining type culture. They believe that the things that you engage in, the vices that you encourage, that they actually have power over you. Uh, whereas the Sith believe that the accumulation of power means that you can have any vice that you want uh, because nothing can ever dominate you. So you just consume, consume, consume. So just for me, as a lifelong Star Wars fan and someone who's only been studying Stoicism for about the past two years, maybe, it's just everywhere. It's impossible not to see. My favorite Star Wars quote is, don't try it. I have the high ground. <laughs> don't try it. So you actually have to have control over your faculties. Uh, I believe it's in Star Wars Episode Five when Yoda is training Luke Skywalker on Dagobah, and he says, control, control, you must learn control. This, I think, is in essence what every young, brash, egotistical hero who goes on the hero's journey in Star Wars has to eventually develop. They have to learn boundaries. Otherwise, the forces of the world, their wants, their fears are going to overtake them. As I have gotten older, I have gotten more and more skeptical, not, not of that free will exists. Okay, So I want to be very clear. I'm not a determinist who believes that you don't have free will and the ability to make choices. However, there's another way of looking at things like free will and destiny, where you go, certain choices that you make are going to limit future choices that you might have. For example, you ring up a large spending bill on your credit card with an interest rate that you can't actually keep up with. You are limiting future you's ability to make choices about what vacation you would like to go on because past you had no sense of boundaries or discipline. And so free will is like a domino effect. You make enough bad choices, you lose your future ability to exercise free will and choice. So 
my favorite Star Wars quote, I think it's going to have to be, I love you. I know. <laughs> Senators, I assume you're acquainted with the collection of half-truths and hyperbole known as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Not only the men, but the women and the children. This is something that I think is relevant for Star Wars, particularly relevant to Anakin Skywalker, who grew up a slave, is trying to throw off his shackles, first with the Jedi, then with the Sith. And of course, he ends up spending his entire life as Darth Vader trapped inside an Iron Maiden, a robot suit, uh, which tortures and suffocates him until the end of his days. He ended up in that position by trying to have no chains in his in life and by shedding any ideas of discipline uh, and temperance. And so I think that's the number one thing that we're supposed to learn from Star Wars. Your focus determines your reality. It very much is about discipline uh, because there are a lot of things vying for your attention at any given time and you have to be able to stay on task like it it feels like abstract right in the context of star wars but anakin throughout the rest of those movies he's going to constantly face distractions uh one of the distractions that he faces in episode two is that he is on a mission to protect padme and be her bodyguard on the planet of naboo and then he has a nightmare he he has a vision of his mom uh, suffering and he is distracted and he is focusing and turning his attention to that and it brings him a great amount of suffering and it also stops him from being able to do what is his only job uh, and it's it's not without consequence where are you going to find my mother like the choice to go and try and save his mother and then fail destroys Anakin Skywalker. It snowballs into every other mistake that he will make until the day that he loses uh, his life uh, and becomes Darth Vader. Um, so just that ability to like wall yourself off and say no to the things that are outside of your control, this is the essence of Star Wars. Test, test. My favorite Star Wars quote, there's no good to me dead. Only when the eyes are closed can you truly see the way. <laughs> Only when the eyes are shut can you truly see. And that is Star Wars distilled. <laughs>